بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم شارٹ اسٹوریز آف امام سلطان محمد شاہ ونس امام سلطان محمد شاہ گیو این آڈینس ٹو سم ممبرس آف دا بیت الخیال ان بامبے جماعت خانہ ان دی اینڈ دا مکھی ریورنٹلی آسک دا امام ٹو اکارڈ پرمیشن ٹو کلیکٹ کانٹریبیوشن ان دا جماعت اینڈ پریزینٹ بفور ہیم ایز اے نذرانہ دا امام گرانٹیڈ پرمیشن ہینس دا مکھی اناؤنسڈ and took a plate and collected the contributions. In the last draw, one poor man took out one rupee from his pocket and waited coming off the mukhi. Meanwhile, one rich man came late and sat beside the poor man. He too took out a coin of half rupee from his purse. All of a sudden, he saw a note of one rupee in the hand of the poor man. He thought that it was a matter of his prestige and against his status. Therefore, he inserted coin of half rupee in the purse and took out a note of 10 rupees. Both put their individual share in the plate. The Mukhi put the amassed funds in a small bag and presented submissively to the Imam. The Imam opened the bag and took out 9.5 rupees and gave to the Mukhi to return this amount to that rich person sitting in the last row and tell him, Imam has accepted your niyat intention and returns this amount which denotes false show and hypocrisy. Story 2 In October 23, 1940, five Ismailis belonged to Hunza, Pakistan took a chance in Geneva to get the dar of Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah. They conversed with the Imam for half hour. Then according to their humble request, the Imam gave them individual chance to get guidance to overcome their worries. The Imam acceded to the request. One among them named Sarwar asked something to the Imam who told him to come near, even near, till his ear. Sarwar spoke in the Imam's ear his five problems. The Imam guided him of his three problems. When asked for the other two problems, the Imam said, Not now. I will give you solutions of your two problems after twenty years. Exactly after twenty years, Maulana Hazar Imam visited Hunza on 24th October 1960. On that occasion, Sarwar was giving service as the volunteer outside the ground. Before gracing Didar to the Jamaat, the Imam stopped his car near Sarwar and told, You come near me in the same way you had come near me 20 years ago. Sarwar was fascinated with tears in eyes. The Imam replied him to his remaining two problems with solution to surmount them and blessed. Short Stories of Maulana Hazar Imam Maulana Hazar Imam Shah Karim al Husayni visited Sindh, Pakistan by a special train in 1960. In Daru, Mukhi Feroz Ali Atamadi, Devasi Muhammad had arranged colorful ice blocks on the roads during Imam's visit. The Imam's special train reached Daru on 6 October 1960 at 4 p.m. and set in the car to reach the Jumaat Khana. The Imam became much happy to see the ice blocks on the roads and said, Oh, what a splendid scene it is! Looking the ice blocks, I recollect occasion of the diamond jubilee of my grandfather. It should be known that during the occasion of the diamond jubilee on 10th March 1946, the age of the Hazar Imam was 10 years, and he was thousands of miles away in Paris. The noon of Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah was in the Hazar Imam in Daru on 6 October 1960. When Hazar Imam said, Looking the ice blocks, 
I recollected the occasion of the diamond jubilee of my grandfather. Means when he was in the jama of Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah, there were same ice blocks during the diamond jubilee. All imams carry undoubtedly same nur of Mola Murtaza Ali. Story two. On 2nd September 1979, Hazar Imam visited London to grace Didar and other religious works in the Olympia Hall. During a Bahmani, three young sisters joined together. Two among them were clad in ritual attires, but the third sister had put on a sleeveless shirt. The Imam blessed the two sisters one after another, and when the third sister came, the Imam said, Today you go to church. She was bewildered and came down and drove a car to reach the church as per Imam's orders. She came in a big church and participated in the rites. Then she joined the ladies' queue with folded hands. They were moving towards the statue of Jesus Christ. When she came near it, the priest obstructed her and said, Those ladies are allowed to appear before our Lord Jesus Christ who had worn a shirt having full sleeves. Being frustrated, she wept and condemned herself that my Imam is a Christ of Christs who indirectly imparted me that in his presence my shirt must have full sleeves. She apologized and appeared before the Imam in a saintly dress in another Mahmani. She sought remission and the Imam blessed her with Khanavadan and became happy. Short Stories of Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah Once a person having tall physique entered Kandi Mola Jumat Khana, Bombay. His head all of a sudden dashed with the hanging chandelier which fell and smashed. Nobody said anything in the Jumat Khana to him since it was an accident, but he took it very seriously. In his Mahmani, he sought forgiveness from Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah. The Imam said, You will need to pay me 8,75,000 rupees for remission because one Ismaili had purchased the chandelier in 7 rupees and presented in the Jumat Khana. I have recompensated him 8,75,000 rupees at the rate of 1,25,000 rupees. Sawa lak. I advise you to go to the Mukhi and seek forgiveness in the negligible rate. Story 2 Missionary Juma Bhagat always wore simple clothes, such as simple coat with strings and a cotton cap of four anas. Once Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah asked him, Juma, what attires you have worn, such dress and cap? He said, Mola, for whom I have to exhibit such costly appearance? I may die tomorrow. The Imam laughed and said, Everyone has to die, but there is no description in the Quran or Hadith that one should live in immoral state. Look, you are my missionary and representative. The people will say how the missionary of Aga Khan lives in base condition. You wear best clothes, which does not mean pompous attire or overdress, but ordinary having simplicity in pen and code, so that the people will respect you. Your respect is by regard of consideration. Jumba Bhagat assured that he would follow Imam's orders.